Hello YouTube, this is Anak2KK okay, okay, here, and if you can't tell, it is like quarter to eight in the morning, and I got up at about half six in the morning, and I am pretty tired, but I still want to record a love to do program tutorial. But yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the eighth love to do program tutorial, or la love programming tutorial, and the last tutorial we finished with this. This was our little game, and... We can uh, go about and we are uh, a white box and we collect more white boxes. Um, now there are a couple of things I want to do with this. I want to have multiple spawning across the screen that you have to collect within a certain amount of time. Uh, I might have it so the more you collect you get slightly bigger. Maybe. I don't think I'll add that actually. Well, I might. I, I don't know. It all depends. But one thing I know I want is a score counter. So that every time you collect one, your score goes up. Because uh, I think that's pretty essential, don't you think? Yeah, I thought it was essential. So, uh, yeah. What I want to happen is every time you get another uh, point so to speak, a, another uh, box, the, uh, the score goes up, but if you get it within a certain amount of time, you get like a multiplier sort of effect, I might add that. Uh, I want to add functionality for saving it, so then I'll be teaching you about saving files. Uh, what else? I want to have it so whenever you collect one, it kind of gets, like it, it pops out a little scales bigger and it goes back down but in this tutorial all we're gonna focus on is getting the score counter like up here or something uh yeah so let's get to score so in their player class uh go into the the uh o table and give the player a value score and then equal to zero uh and then in here Food respawn. You want to say that score equals score plus one times dt. But what we want to do is we want to floor this floor uh, because this this basically brings it down to the lowest. Uh, possible number rounded down and then what we want to do is we want to uh, love that graphics dot print score and concatenate p dot score we want to put it up in 1616 16. on it we'll have our score up here oh score Oh, it would be all oh, that score. Uh, hopefully this works. Well, I thought I only wanted to score. Um, maybe if I just uh, score plus one. I don't even think I need that. Oh. Derp. I'm derping up this tutorial. Yep. Look, there, there we go. It's adding one. And then two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then, and so on. Uh, if you know what this does, remember this checks cousin. Hold on. Just leave a comment there. This chance collision. This adds one to the this adds one to the score, and then respawns the food. And this only gets a chance to add one, because it only happens for like a split second. Uh, multiply by DT didn't really do much. I was thinking about I can't remember what I was thinking. It was something a long time ago that I was thinking about. Uh, but yeah. That's all we're really doing here. Add one to the score. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I have time to talk about Love Dot File System. Uh, so, like, if you notice our high score, like, we don't have a high score, <laughs> really. Uh, but I want to stop. Well, mm, we do. Well, yeah, I suppose we should do that because the player can just. Well, the player actually isn't going over it. The score is being drawn on top of it because because they're both white. It's different. And also, we're gonna change this font later. We're gonna get a font and we're gonna uh, do stuff with the font and get a copyright free font. Uh, yeah. But up here, we want to have maybe thirty two. We want to stop the collision. Thirty two. Uh. Oh, that wins. Loss. Um. Actually, that may be enough. No, it isn't. Uh. You get him to knock over the top. Less than sixteen. Oh, 32, 32, yeah, now you can't go up here, because this is going to be where all our uh, stat stuff is, like score and high score, uh, like 10 left or something, yeah, well, actually I'm going to add more than 32, just for leeway sick, uh, 50, yeah, so that we can have bigger text and stuff up here, and we might need to add more to this later. Oh, whoa, why did that spawn up there? Whoa. That spawned up there. Hmm. That's a problem. Maybe it should be plus 50. So that it will never spawn up there, hopefully. Um, hmm, that shouldn't have spawned up there. Hopefully it won't spawn up there again. Actually, I'm not even going to talk about Love That Fell System in this tutorial. But yeah, all we really did in this tutorial was, uh, stop some collision up here. Uh, add a score counter that doesn't even, like, save our score. And that was all for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next tutorial.